Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. I hope that you are having an incredible, beautiful day. And today I want to invite you to come food shopping with me. I'm going to go do a food shop so that I can meal prep. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would invite you to come with me. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and like comment and subscribe and stuff because I love it. I love it. Uh, I love the uh, affirmation that I am okay as a human being. So yeah, if you could thumbs up, that would be great. Anyway, um, let's go do this food shop. I'm going to try and not get distracted this time and only buy food. I might buy some food to eat right now because I'm so hungry. I'm so, so hungry. I haven't eaten, like, all day. So, yeah, going to do that too. Let's go shopping! <laughs> I forgot to say, another thing that I'm going to try and do is limit this shop to £30. So if you've watched any of my previous meal preps, you know that my weekly food shop used to be about £20 a week. Since I've started working, as happens with most people, I think, when your income goes up, your expenditure goes up. Um, I've been spending way, way more than that, and it's so unnecessary. So bring that back and just be like, Sarah, you survived absolutely fine on £20 a week. Nothing has changed. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to withdraw the money as cash because I think when you spend cash you're so much more conscious when I'm on my card I'm just like bam 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 like I'm some kind of superhero because I've become financially woke maybe I'll do a video for you guys on becoming financially woke and what it means to be an adult in this modern world financially but it is deep it's freaking deep okay is so deep and so real so I just don't want to be spending money like an idiot anymore oh, it's just started raining fam it wasn't raining before. I've sat in here so long it started raining. Cool. Oh okay, so I've got my £30 cash money. It is time to start the shop in these blue heels. How fun. <laughs> okay, so starting off with chicken, I think I'm going to get these um, boneless thigh fillets because they are reduced to £3.50 um, and they are cheaper per kilogram so I always look at the price per kg rather than just how much it is because obviously that's how much you get for your money so I think I'm going to get those. And then continuing with buying the proteins I'm going to get the diced pork because that's going to be a lot easier for what I'm cooking. Um, again it's reduced and you know only by 16p though you've got to watch these like oh thank you Asda that's very kind 16 pence saved. Um, but yeah and it's pretty lean too so I don't really want to faff about to be honest just kind of want to throw it in the stew so I'm gonna get those for three pounds. And then for the bacon, I'm literally just going to kind of get whatever. Next, I'm going to get some of these for the salmon. I really like Hollandaise sauce. I have never used these before, so I'll let you know how they go. Um, but it is four for two pounds. I'm going to get two of these and two creamy pepper sauces. No idea what I'll use the pepper sauce for, but I'm sure I will find a way one day. So I'm just getting four of those for two pounds. Now, salmon does set you back a bit. Like, as you can see, it's £15 per kg. And I do find it, you know, more of a pricey uh, source of protein. But obviously, it has so many good omega-3 fatty acids and stuff. So, and, I, and it is also just delicious. So, I will break the bank for that one. And I think I'll get two. I think I'm going to have to get two. Because I want to do more than one meal. Yeah, I'll get two of these. In. There you go. I'm going to get some milk. As you know, I use lactose-free, so I'm just getting some skimmed lactose-free milk. That's pound forty. Now I'm moving on to vegetables. I'm going to get asparagus, but I'm not going to get the tips because they are £1.75 for one small pack. So as you can see, that's £1.75. Instead, I'm going to be budget conscious because I think I'm on £18 already in the trolley. Um, and I'm going to get these two for £1.80. Guys, I'm gonna be super lazy and just get these onions. 23p for pre-sliced onions. No tears. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely, yes. Getting those. And then I'm also gonna be slightly lazy and for my stew, I'm just gonna get an Asda root vegetable stew mix. <laughs> Ideal for slow cooking. I actually pay like one pound seventy-five, so I think that brings me up to like a twenty-two pound total. Um, and always look on the back obviously just to know what you're actually eating and that looks pretty decent to me I'm gonna try these Asda protein folded flatbreads and I'm just gonna do like a chicken curry um, and I'll see how that goes but that kind of looks quite fun it's only 90p um, I mean they call it a protein flatbread protein content is honestly nothing to write home about 
16 grams I think that says per 100, 100 uh, grams so yeah it's nothing massively to write home about but I was just looking for a bread to do the curry with or naan bread um, and I think I'll try these out and see what they like. And that's the Naki only 65p so I'm gonna get two pounds of that. Then for the curry I'm just gonna get some of these um, low calorie lower fat um, curry sauces uh, rather than the other brands and um, it's like a marginal difference to be honest you could get either but you know I'm gonna try these just to make myself feel a bit better for having a curry for lunch. I've also got some bananas and some spinach. The spinach is for the curry, bananas are for my breakfast. Day. I went for dark chocolate and white chocolate chip chunks for my breakfast. Pancakes, now just eggs and then I think I'm good. Hopefully, I've lost count you know you guys. Ah uh, crap I totally lost count. Hopefully this is all 30 pounds, I have no idea. <laughs> Just some large free range eggs to finish off the shop. Hey! And that is the shop done. I totally did it, you guys. The shop was a total of £28.26. And and I am very proud of myself because I nearly went overboard then. I'm really glad that I did that food shop and I'm going to go home and meal prep it straight away just because I'm still living in that shared accommodation and fridge space is still a joke but I do have my own freezer so if I just cook it all straight away I can just freeze it all straight away and then there's no problem. Thank you so much for coming food shopping with me I hope you found that I don't know useful interesting whatever uh, I'm very hungry and very excited to eat. Oh yeah I was gonna get food for right now wasn't I? Do I or do I not get a subway? That is the question. Oh I see you baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This video is not sponsored by Subway. I love you guys very much, so so, so much. <laughs> Bye.